Welcome to RenderWorks 2014. We believe the art of design drives the entire creative process, and to that end, we provide a software solution that'll help you find your balance. This year, you'll find a host of improvements that'll help you and your team maximize your workflow and balance your individual creativity with accurate design information. And now here's something to get excited about. For 2014, OpenGL has experienced a number of improvements and will no doubt become your direct modeling rendering mode of choice. This feature isn't really a single new object or tool, rather it's more of a collection of changes that'll let you remain in 3D OpenGL views during modeling and drafting. Let's take a look at some of the improvements. First, notice how when you select an object, you get an entire bounding box surrounding the object, not just a rectangular shape. Next, once you've selected an object and move it, notice how the entire scene does not need to be re-rendered, only the object that was relocated. Thanks to our new occlusion control, you'll no longer accidentally snap to corner vertices beyond an object. Notice how I can select an object from anywhere within the selection box, and not just by the edge. If you have RenderWorks, let's look at OpenGL when Use Shadows has been selected. You can see how the shadows are more accurate and are more fluid as they move across the model. Here we'll switch from one layer to another while the layer control is set to gray others. Once again, notice how the rendering mode stays in OpenGL with no need to go to wireframe. In this segment, the image has been rendered in a rendering style other than OpenGL. However, once the walkthrough tool has been chosen, the rendering mode changes and stays in OpenGL and does not revert to wireframe, resulting in accurate and clear indications of what you're seeing and doing. And just to reinforce that, we'll use the Clip Cube tool and change the viewing angle of this element. Notice how the view stays in OpenGL. Once again, no more reverting to wireframe. And in this segment, we'll take a look at how objects appear when the Draw Edges option is chosen. Oh yeah, much cleaner and much smoother. I like that. I'd also like to add one more important benefit. With this graphic improvement, direct modeling is not only fun, but all the operations are smooth and accurate. And finally, to wrap up, check out the new functionality of the X-Ray Select Mode. We'll use the B key to explore wireframe skeletons while navigating in OpenGL. And before I close this segment, don't forget to navigate using one of these good-looking gadgets. It just works. Here's a new tool that's been added to RenderWorks repertoire. The brick shader lets you create a realistic representation of bricks, panels, or tiles as a texture. While this feature existed in previous versions, you're now able to add a secondary brick texture, as well as control when and where it appears, separate from the main texture. Not only that, but you now have complete control over the size and appearance of what would be the grout lines you can select either a combination of colors or a texture for the fill. Whether you alternate row and column styles or apply a more randomized look, you'll gain hours of time in your workflow because now you don't have to tediously model each and every brick. This change also means you can take a picture of bricks that already exist in the real world and then create a much more realistic brick texture that'll match an existing wall. Finally, here's an example of many of the brick and masonry textures that ship with RenderWorks 2014. So enjoy! It's now possible to apply a displacement map in addition to a simple bump map to a RenderWorks texture. While at first this may appear to be the same as a regular bump map, 
Displacement mapping actually alters the existing geometry to create a more realistic surface effect. This is most obvious where you can see the displacement map is capable of creating geometry that casts shadows even upon itself, allowing you to create very detailed textures that can be applied to a wide range of objects. This type of shader can greatly improve the overall look of renderings that contain tiles, bricks, water, and more. Not only can displacement textures emulate different materials and surfaces, but entire city blocks as well, all while keeping base geometry to a minimum. And let's not forget to have a look at what's new for our Vectorworks Service Select members. To start, in many cases, you'll find that there's no need to create 3D models from scratch. We have new content for you. From several varieties of wall sections and details that you can use and modify, to several new arrowway textures, to many more types and styles of furniture. Check it out. We've also included a number of video clips, including some really informative tutorials and tips and tricks focusing on items like drawing organization, georeferencing, lighting techniques, the issue manager, worksheets, custom title blocks, and more. So come on over and see what's new. So for this year, we invite you to capture that perfect balance between design and technology with Vectorworks 2014.